While the C-section is now the most frequently performed major surgery in the U.S., and many women are opting for this method of childbirth, even when surgery is not deemed medically necessary. Now, joining us now is Dr. Joseph Walsh. He's an OBGYN at UConn Health Center. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you've done a lot of research about cesarean section. So what's your most interesting find? Uh, well, my hypothesis is that the, we're going to be doing more C-sections because we have been doing C-sections. Babies that were too big in the past um, and would have died in labor are now surviving. And if there's a genetic tendency to have big babies, uh, these babies themselves will have larger children. So because we can save babies that otherwise would have died in the past, babies may get bigger. Now explain what uh, you were talking about. We were talking about larger babies and how that kind of ties into a larger IQ. Let's talk a little bit about that. Well, we know, we know that babies that have, uh, are larger at the time of birth specifically have larger head size. Uh, they tend to have a higher IQ at age seven. So it may be, and I don't have any evidence for this, mm -hmm. that uh, these uh, larger babies will have higher IQs later on. And over time, over geologic time, evolutionary time, uh, there may be uh, a, an increase in the uh, IQ over time. Now the trend seems to be moving towards, as we're saying, C-sections. Let's talk about some of the other pros to having a cesarean section. Well, the, mo the most dangerous day of anyone's life in the old days was the day they were born. Uh, there's a lot of birth trauma associated with vaginal births. If you were a breech, you were particularly large as a baby, uh, there was significant risk of trauma to the baby. Uh, the second most dangerous day in a woman's life was the day she had her first baby because there's also trauma to mothers and there's risk to having a baby, uh, risk of bleeding, infection, uh, and uh, risk of trauma to herself. So uh, these days C-sections are safer, so we feel there's more indication for uh, doing C-section these days. Now what, on the flip side, what are the cons to having a C-section? Because I know some doctors who prefer to not perform a cesarean unless they need to. Well, hopefully all cesarean sections are done because there is a need to do it. Mm -hmm. um, there is some tendency these days for patients to choose to have a C-section and, and forego even attempting a vaginal birth because they look at the pros and cons and they decide that they would rather have a C-section. C-sections have their own risk, increased risk of bleeding, increased risk of infection. There's a longer recovery with a newborn at home. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, a, it's a tough choice, but some people do opt for a primary C-section. And anything else that you found out about, I mean, obviously this is something that you're very familiar with, but something eye-opening that when you were looking at this uh, at this information, you were thinking, wow, this is not what I intended to find out. Well, I, I think that patients are becoming more accepting of cesarean section. They're not mm -hmm. looking at it as a failure of, uh, of them in themselves. Uh, and I tell patients that uh, just be thankful that you were born at this time and in this country, because in other countries, it's still very dangerous to have a natural birth. Um, there are many deaths in other countries from natural childbirth because they don't have the option of having medical care uh, for the for the birth. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, You're Dr. Welsh. You're welcome. Walsh. Thank you.